Hi everyone, this is Kevin from Caribbean Crypto Tips. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can use the Serum Decentralized Exchange that lives on the Solana blockchain to make your various crypto trades. Like any other decentralized exchange, you don't need to create an account to use it. All you will need is a computer with an internet connection and a few select crypto assets to get started. Now before I talk about the Serum Exchange, let me give you a brief rundown about the Solana blockchain itself. Now Solana is an extremely fast blockchain that can process up to 50,000 transactions per second. Many projects are choosing to build on this particular blockchain because of its impressive speed. Most notably, you see Serum, you have Circles USDC, you have Tethers USDT, you can see Chainlink, and even the Graph Protocol, to name a few. But the overall ecosystem is growing constantly day by day. And what they are building on Solana would be prediction markets, marketplaces, payment networks, and exchanges. As all of these sectors are able to leverage the extreme speed of the Solana blockchain. But there are some other aspects about this blockchain that you should know. Solana is a scalable blockchain with transaction fees that are extremely low. Think about 0.0001 of a cent. And best of all, everything happens on chain without the need for layer 2 solutions or even sharding. All awesome stuff that should give other top smart contract projects a good run for their money. But let us go back now to talking about Serum. Now Project Serum was built by the Serum Foundation, which is a group of experts in cryptocurrencies, trading and decentralized finance. If one of the main backers being the CEO of FTX Exchange, Sam Bankman Freed. Given all the advantages of the Solana blockchain, you would expect that any exchange built on top of Solana will be lightning fast and everything is going to happen on chain and the cost for transaction is going to be low. Now here is where we would tell you that this is not financial advice. But in conjunction with owning some Solana, the SOL cryptocurrency, there are also benefits for owning the Serum token, such as a further reduction in transaction fees when making any trades on any Serum based decentralized exchange. And the Serum token has a burn mechanism in the protocol which ensures that the token is deflationary. Now I would encourage everyone to go and read both the Serum and the Solana white paper just to get a better idea as to how these cryptocurrencies and tokens operate. So just to be clear, this is my understanding. Solana is the underlying blockchain and Serum is a Solana based token that is also ERC20 compatible and many decentralized exchanges are built using Serum as the underlying infrastructure. So the question is, how do we use Serum? Let's go back to the top of the page. And if you go to the knowledge base, you will learn all you need to know about how to use Serum and the various Serum base DEXs. First, let's read the simple flowchart, how to use Serum DEX. Create a Sol wallet. To send funds, you go to the Serum DEX, you connect your Sol wallet, you make your trade, you settle the trade, and then you withdraw back to your Sol wallet. Sounds simple enough. Of course, we need to first create a Solana wallet. To do that, I go over here to Solana wallet. And as you can see, it gives you a nice step-by-step -step guide as to what you should do. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Solet wallet. So once I click on the link, I'll be taken to the wallet. And once you arrive here for the first time, you'll probably be asked to make your wallet. And by doing that, you write down your recovery keys. I can recommend also that you create a password afterwards. So I've written down my words already, and I'll go and I'll click, I have saved the words in a safe place. Click continue. You're now gonna be asked 
to re-enter the words just to ensure that you have done what you're supposed to do. Once you've done that, you click continue and you have the option of creating your password. Now, because this is a tutorial, I'm going to skip this for now and just go and click create wallet. So this is my Solana wallet. And of course it is empty and I would now have to go to one of my two favorite exchanges at the Binance or FTX to deposit some Sol to this wallet. For this demonstration purposes, I'm going to choose FTX. Now all of my referral links for my exchanges are in the links below. You can help support the channel by using those links to sign up to either FTX or Binance. Now I'm going to click my Sol wallet just to get my receiving address. I'm going to click copy. Now before I go any further, I'm just going to let you know that you can also deposit ETH to this wallet and you can then convert that ETH automatically to SOL. But of course, you know that there is going to be some conversion fee associated with that. To avoid that, I would have bought my SOL on an exchange and I'm going to go and withdraw it to this wallet. Now this is what the FTX exchange looks like. It is my second favorite exchange and I recommend others to go and check it out. Now, if I want to access my wallet, I go to wallet. And here I can see all of the balances for all the cryptocurrencies that I have on this exchange. I'm going to click Solana and withdraw. I'm going to choose the amount that I want to withdraw. In this case, I'm going to withdraw one Sol. And I'm going to paste the address that I would have copied earlier. Now, one of the main benefits of FTX is the fact that they have zero withdrawal fees for most cryptocurrencies. Now, to withdraw this, I would have to authenticate the transaction because they have two factor enabled. In this case, I have a YubiKey. And once I press my YubiKey, I have now successfully gotten past the two factor authentication and I click withdraw. Now this transaction should only take a few seconds. Now if we head back to my Solana wallet, you'll see that the Solana has arrived in the wallet safely. Exactly one Sol. Now what I can do here is I can actually add tokens to my wallet by clicking the add button. I can add serum as well as wrapped Bitcoin, wrapped Ethereum, and many other tokens that are wrapped on the Solana blockchain. Now these same wrapped tokens can then be deposited to FTX and once they are, they automatically become the real underlying asset. Now for this tutorial, I'm only going to add one asset, but just so you know, there is a small fee of SOL that you must pay whenever you are adding an asset to this wallet. Now the next step now is for me to go and find a Serum based DEX to connect to this wallet, very similar to how you would with MetaMask. Now if I head back over to the Serum Academy, you'll see a nice tutorial as to how you can connect your wallet to any Serum DEX. And the one I'm going to choose is the standard Serum DEX, however, I'm going to show you the list of DEXs. And here is a complete list of DEXs that work with Serum. Bonfider is another popular one and the experience on Bonfider should be pretty much in line with all the other DEXs. So once I'm here, I'm going to click DEX. Agree to the terms. Click OK. And connect my wallet. I'm going to choose from the options here. In this case, I'm using the Solet wallet. And it's going to ask me for permission to connect. I can automatically approve transactions, but you can leave this off for now. In this case, I'm going to turn it on and click connect. So now I've been successfully connected to the one for the decentralized exchange. Now this DEX is not bad at all. They have a pro mode, which is what I'm in right now. 
and they also have a basic mode which basically gives you a uniswap type experience to swap your tokens i'm going to go back to the promo though and show you how you can use this order book to make your trades now on most serum based dexes the orders are usually only limit orders but on bonfire you have the option of creating a market order as well now i want to go and trade some of my sol for serum so to do that i will go and search for the sol serum trading pair so i click to type it in sol i click the serum sol pair and i scroll down to the order book once it loads i'll be able to place my order i'm going to convert about 50 percent of my sol into serum that should give me about 2.3 serum i click limit buy as you can see the transaction has been sent and confirmed now once i scroll down you should be able to see your open orders but since this trade has happened already it will be in my recent trades and i can see the balances that would be in my wallet now you go to settle the transaction by pressing settle and once that is done you head back over to my wallet and as you can see I have both the Solana and the Serum in my wallet. And that is honestly how easy it is to use a Serum based decentralized exchange. All that's left now to do is to show you how quick and easy it is to send from this wallet to an exchange like FTX. Once I click on Serum, I'm going to click send and it's going to ask me for my address. I head over to FTX. I look for serum and I go to give the deposit address once I click copy I go back over to my wallet paste that address type in the amount I want to send in this case I'm sending all check to make sure you understand that this address is correct and click send the transaction is completed already and I should see my balance on FTX increase in a few seconds and look there it is so that is as easy as it can be I hope this video was helpful and educational to you feel free to like and subscribe you can also share this video with your friends now all of the links I use in this video will be in the description below now a promise is a promise in my last video where I showed you how to create NFTs on Cardano I promise that whoever commented under that video would have a chance to win my one of one NFT. So here is your lucky day. I'm going to select one random commenter. And congratulations, Mark Hill. I'm going to be contacting you shortly to give you your Cardano NFT. Now, if you want to be a winner in any of my other upcoming giveaways, please remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment under all of my videos. Thank you for watching.